Um, so I it just it's going to take a lot of attention to detail and staying focused. You know, I feel like at time and turn we focus on one thing and that's beating that team. And I feel like that's what, that's what we have to do this year. CJ, what does it take to make a, a deep run in a conference tournament? Uh, like Connor Caleb said, you know, you just got to stay focused. You got to be willing to, you know, do what the team needs you to do, no matter what that may be. Um, just high attention to detail. You know, you got to give everything that you got. Um, so that's pretty much all that you can do. Um, this is going to be a defensive type of thing. I feel like defense wins a lot of games. Um, and I feel like that's what it's going to take for us to win. Yeah, do you think you guys are better prepared than maybe you've been in the past, like ready for to put together a deep run? But I feel like we, you know, we take every game the same, you know, we prepare the same for every game. As far as I have to detail and so. What can you guys take from the first Purdue game? Kyle was uh, had a great night that night. He might not be available to you tomorrow night. Uh, your thoughts on that first Purdue game, the only Purdue game you played this year? Uh, Purdue's a really good team. They can shoot the ball really well. Um, they have a lot of good offensive actions to get players open and get open shots. Um, so it's going to be a high attention to detail type of game. Uh, we got to make shooters miss. Um, we got to get them off the offensive uh, glass. They had a lot of offensive rebounds. Um, they had a lot of players step up. They got a lot of easy baskets, so, you know, try to take away easy shots and things like that. Um, but I feel like we played pretty well. We uh, prepared really well. Um, we were able to make shots and things like that. So um, just going into this game with the same mindset, just to, you know, be aggressive offensively and defensively. CJ, when we talked to you and Dwayne, you guys are talking about adversity. You guys kept saying we're built for this. We're ready for this moment. Uh, Andre Weston stands out to me as someone who might be built for the, this kind of Big Ten tournament, NCAA tournament. For both of you guys, why? Why is that? Um, I mean, you know Andre more than I do, obviously, but um, he's been through a lot, you know what I'm saying, throughout his college career, going through different coaching staff, different teammates, and things like that. Um, he's kind of just like that survivor, I mean, kind of last man standing type of thing. Um, he gives everything that he has. Um, he just wants to sacrifice his body for the team to win games. So. He stepped up plenty this season, making shots defensively, guarding the best players and things like that. So he's just built for that moment. I'm kind of self-explanatory. His actions show up. Yeah, like CJ said, just all the work they put in, everything they seem like he said, he's like surviving like a warrior. Kind of, you know, he, he does all the little things for our team. And I feel like that's, that's what helps teams win. Cool guy like that. Caleb, um, you know, Purdue's got a couple of pretty good big men. I know you guys came out of that first matchup, the double-digit win. But again, you can't expect anything like that again. This is kind of their season is now on the line. Just, uh, just your thought going against those guys, and also kind of what Purdue, what you expect to see out of Purdue. Um, like you said, you know they're playing for this season in the NCAA tournament, but you know we can't let them go in there and play with a bigger edge than us. You know we, we're also playing for for a championship, and, and we can't let them go out there and think that the game means more than it means for them than for us. And I know CJ being in, in Indianapolis. Just will you have how many people that are you estimate from your school, your family, your friends that are going to come to the field house to, to see you play in this game? Or I've talked about it. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people there. A lot of my family members, friends, people I went to high school with, my high school coaching staff. A lot of people is going to be there. I actually won my state championship there my sophomore year. So it's, I mean, it's 15 minutes away from my house. So I mean, all my family members going to be there. Uh, the tickets that I had to do, I think I had about like 20, 22 people I had to add, plus my family members that bought tickets and things like that. So it's going to be exciting. And just uh, one more thing, just you've been pretty consistent, it seems, here down the stretch. Your line is typically right around 14, 5, 5, rebounds, assists, and some steals or whatever in there. These last five or six games, very few turnovers. Just this last six games, what seven games, whatever it is, what is it that has really come together for you to where you're playing some of the best uh, basketball you played in your college career? I will just say my confidence and my teammates just believing in me. You know what I'm saying? I just had to step up. You know, we had a lot going on within our team. You know, the team, people have to take absences, people being hurt, things like that. So I just had to step up for the moment. Um, my coaches have teammates believe in me, so I just kind of, you know, take advantage of that. Um, you know, I just want to win and to make the right plays. Um, and just do what I have to do for us to win. Uh, and that's why I, I feel like that's what I've been doing these past few games.